If you're facing discouragement in your Christian service for the Lord, throw yourself upon the inexhaustible strength of our God through the unchanging promises he's given in his word. The Bible declares God's choosing of weak and foolish things to confound the wise. So let's receive this honor with humility from him. 2 Corinthians 4, 7 tells us that we have this treasure in earthen vessels, that the excellency of the power may be of God and not of us. In essence, the Lord didn't choose us for our supposed abilities, but rather that he might be glorified through us. The real work of God that brings about salvation is a miracle that only he can do. And we are but instruments which the Lord chooses and uses to point the way to him. God has given us wonderful promises and assurance from his word that shift responsibility squarely onto his shoulders. He knows the earthen vessels that he's chosen. And even though we are to press onward toward perfection, we cannot overthrow the work God intended for us. The biggest thing is that we can't fully understand exactly what God is doing. Isaiah 55, 11 gives us the wonderful promise that the word coming from God's mouth will not return to him void, but it will accomplish the thing that pleases him and prosper in the purpose that he sent it for. This is a great assurance for us, brethren, but difficulties come when the appearances don't seem to be wonderful. We must remember that most of the world will reject Jesus and be eternally lost. We question it for the appearance of failure and wonder how something so negative could fulfill such a positive sounding promise, and yet it does. God sent his son Jesus to die for us while we were still in our sins, that we should not perish eternally in hell, providing for us the only way of salvation that we could in no way work out for ourselves. It is truly a wonderful work. So God is glorified when this work of his son is lifted up before men regardless of whether they choose or refuse him. Even leading up to this promise in Isaiah 55, 11, the preceding verses remind us that God's reasoning is infinitely higher than our own. We walk by faith in him and not by what we see, and we must trust in his character, for he will not lie. There is a time for everything under the sun, so when you've done your duty in Christ, it may be time to let go and let God achieve the purpose he's intended in the given situation and rest in his peace that surpasses all understanding. God has declared the end from the beginning and he is the one who saves and no other. You have done your best, learn from the experience, grow, but he will never leave you nor forsake you. And tomorrow is a new day in Jesus Christ. Please check out the description below for scriptures related and a helpful link to a video. May God bless you.